In this video, we will be looking at TBC 580 Survey Kogo Enhancement. We will focus on the Create Kogo Enhancements. Let's have a look at the enhancements now in TBC. As you can see, I've already imported a DWD file with some line work. And let's go into the functionality. Under Survey, Kogo, let's go directly to Create Kogo. First of all, we'll give our collection a name. We'll do parcels one for this created i already set up layers for this starting point name we'll start there and put it under parcels two you can add 3d heights if you want to and your curve distances i'm not going to change that now under gogo first new enhancement you will see is the add from selected line work what i'll do is quickly zoom in here i'll select these two blocks and simply click on add from selected line work and there you go your parcels are already created and everything is set up if you go into map check we can place it under the same there let's select those two and then say create parcels and there we have our two parcels are created and good to go next example we have an unfinished parcel. Let's quickly create a new collection over here. Call it parcels two. Put it in a new layer so you can see. Starting point will change. Let's put it under the same layer. Go under Kogu. Again, we'll select the existing line work. Add that. And then what you can do now is actually continue and finish off the line work if you need to. So we'll just go add that in and click, click enter. There we go. And another small little enhancement that I think will be of great benefit. You will stay in the same command as the previous when you did any of the line work. So as you can see here, I don't have to go choose again that I want to use line by azimuth. It stays in that command for me to continue if that is what I choose. So we can just continue like that and finish off this line work. There we go. Finished with that. Now we can go to map check, go into parcels 2, select this that we created, create parcel, and there we go. From existing line work that wasn't completely done, we could finish off and create a new parcel as well. Last thing I would like to show you is let's create a third parcel here. And that's the nesting of one portion within another one. And how it does it now in the map check. Change the point name quickly and the layer back to number three. And create it. Okay, in Kogo, we'll select the line work again. Add from selected line work. And now we would like to add a second parcel inside. So I'll just start off with the coordinate. Just create a new coordinate over there. And let's just do it uh, line by azimuth. And let's quickly just make a parcel inside here. Again, as I said, staying in the same command that we had previously. No need to go select it again. And let's finish that off. Okay, there we have our two parcels, one within the other. In map check, let's quickly change the layers again. Now, if we select these two, And we say create parcels. We will have one parcel inside the next. Number one is the smaller one. Number two is the outer parcel. If we go into map check, which will just take a little bit of time to quickly run through this, you will now see that it actually excludes the inner parcel from the outer one when it does the calculation and the area for you. Okay. 
should be done any minute now. There we go. Map check report is opening up. And as I mentioned, you will see it gives you summary for the first one with the area and the closures. There you can see parcel one on its own. And then in the summary for number two, it will exclude the inner boundary from the calculation here. But as you can see, it still gives you the inner boundary segment that it's shown up here. Line work, misclosure. If you go to the next page, you will see it has now excluded the inner parcel. So the nesting has been done that way around. Okay. That makes it nice and easy to now have the inner parcel excluded when you want to use it as an example shown in here. That concludes the enhancements for the CreateCogo functionality in TBC.